you guys want to enter the darts tournament? First prize is free drinks all night. Oh, we'd love to, Horace, but there's only three of us. Did I hear some sorry-ass fools in need of a mother-loving fourth? <laughs> I'll join your darts game. How do we know you're any good? I'm gonna tear the cover off this ball, but hang on. First, I gotta adjust myself. Are you having a nice morning, dear? Oh, yes. I love living here in the next town over. I'm responsible for Horace's death. Plus, as a former athlete, it's my responsibility to invest my earnings in a restaurant, bar, or car dealership. What sport did you play? Lacrosse, which is also my brother's name. Come on, Pam. We gotta go before they see the tip. Forty percent? I would have left more, but he messed up our order. Hey, hey, hey there's my new brother-in-law brother now. Griffin, you and me have to talk. What's up, blood? Nobody's dating nobody. You understand? Oh, don't worry, Jerome. I already gave Chris the sex talk. It's... Awesome. Peter, you don't understand. I don't want Pam dating a white boy. What? Jerome, you're a racist. Black people can't be racist. We can be way sexist, but we ain't racist. If we're friends, what's my last name? Cool J. Where am I from? The south part of a large city. Where'd I go to college? Does it air commercials during daytime judge programs? Peter, you only got two of those three things right. Hey, you know what they say. See you, bro, to get that booty yakum. Make, Make it down, down and smack him yakum. Yak yak <laughs> Cold ah. got you, bitch. <laughs> ah, shit. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to order me some cheap cognac and put it in a fancy glass. Wait, wait a minute. A novelty? We used to date before I met Peter. S so what are white women to black men? A very pleasant page in our memory books. Aw. Hey, Peter, now that you're a celebrity, could I get a picture of you to put on the wall? Sure, here you go. Thanks, man. I'll put you up next to these black celebrities who are just confusing strangers to you. Who's Marlon Johnson? Oh, come on, man. Stand-up comedian? He got that whole thing about the oh we oh we hey oh. <laughs> I can't even get through it. Hey, you talking about Marlon Johnson? You know it. Oh we oh we hey yo. <laughs> That's right. We could all... <coughs> Oh my god, mom's choking! Out of the way, I'm an EMT. Her airway's jammed. Come on now, just like that. I need some gravitational help. Oh no, her clothes are constricting, as are mine. Jerome, you saved my life. Um, I'll have what she's having. Here's your beer, Peter. Thanks, Jerome. What do I owe you? Nah, you already paid me. It laughs. <laughs> hey, a black guy! Get him! Now hold on. Before you get all excited, I'm gonna drop a little knowledge on y'all. Your hatred of me and those like me is just a manifestation of your own feelings of frustration and inadequacy with regard to your personal status in an evolving and increasingly stratified economic and social landscape, you understand? Gosh, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, nobody's ever taken the time to explain it to us. Sir, we can't offer a strong enough apology. Is there anything we can do to make it up to you? You already have. You've learned something. Now get the hell out of the bar, you pathetic son of a bitch. Hey, language, my big fat black mom is here. I know I didn't just hear what that man said. Jerome, you gotta go to extra church. Oh, mom. Peter, you're loud, you can't hold down a job, and you got high blood pressure. You could be a black guy if your dingaling wasn't so damn tiny. <laughs> How does everyone know? Hey, y'all wanna try some of our new food? I'm trying to turn this place into a gastro pub. These are Korean tacos, cause whatever the hell nowadays. You ever had your heart broken, Jerome? Hell yeah, man. Married my high school sweetheart. Week after our wedding, she was diagnosed with cancer. At a funeral, our little girl caught pneumonia. We buried her next to her mom six weeks later. You never seen a casket so small. I hear ya. I gave me number to a girl and she threw it away. You and me, fraternity of pain, eh? Brian, you're fired. What do you mean? This isn't my fault. I'm never drinking this beer again. 
My voice is impervious to helium. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to buy some candy to send Jewish kids to a Jewish place to do Jewish things? Will it get you out of my bar? It sure will. We cool, Peter. We cool. But listen, there is something I gotta fess up to. While I was living with y'all, I had myself lots of nasty-ass sex with Meg. I don't care about that. 